Today I want to talk to you a little bit about dishcloths or washcloths or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of patterns for these online and I'm, I'm sort of thinking to myself, do you really need a pattern <laughs> for making a square? But there are a lot of patterns so I thought perhaps I should test it out. Perhaps there is some, perhaps it does make a difference what pattern you choose maybe for scrubbing or something. So I wanted to test it out. So I've I've made a couple of swatches of different patterns and I'll of course leave all of the links and stuff below for you to check it out if there's any of these that you want. Um, but to begin with I wanted to say that I had two sort of suspicions of where this would go. One was I was a little bit skeptical about the holes in the crochet because <clears throat> in all crochet there is going to be holes and I was very scared is <laughs> perhaps a strong word but I had this idea that I would put the dishcloth into some water and then all the stitches would just stretch out <laughs> just become giant mess and and completely uh, incapable of washing anything so that was number one the, the second one was that I've I've made them all in 100% cotton and I've done that because I had read that that was supposed to be like the best thing for doing washcloths. And I've bought this microfiber dishcloth from the store and just to test out if it's if it's true, if, if, if cotton can actually sort of compete with a sort of product, a industrial product that is made for, for actually cleaning. So that's it. Let's go. Let's go test it. I didn't choose patterns for this in any sp for any specific reason. I just chose patterns that I thought were interesting or that I thought might have some problems. One of these is this from Happy Berry Crochet, which you can find on YouTube. It has these chains on the vertical side. Then there is this star pattern which was very interesting and very fun to do. It's a bit hard. <laughs> then there is this pattern with single crochet and it just has some bubbles. Then there's this weaving pattern with double crochet. There is a instruction for this on my blog if you want that. And then there's this waffle pattern and I also tried to do some <laughs> some chain for vertical lines. To test out these, I put them in soap water and I just treated them as a normal dishcloth. So here I have a I have two different cloths that I wanted to test them against, just to have some sort of baseline for what I was expecting. There is a big difference in sizes of these, but I don't think it would be that much of a problem. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking this, making it wet, and then wringing out any water in it. In the microfiber cloth, that could, it can really hold a lot of water and it's really easy to, to wring it. You can really get it pretty sort of damp without having it be dripping. And it it doesn't get sort of I don't know how to say it. Some some dishcloths gets really nasty when they're wet and sort of clingy. I don't know how to. You probably know what I mean. But the microfiber cloth is one of my 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 favorite for sort of housework. This one is the waffle pattern, and it becomes very sort of see-through and, and sort of the, a lot of holes there's a lot of holes in, in this pattern before it gets wet and there's even more when, when they are wet so it really changes the characteristic of the of the piece if you want when it gets wet and it's it's a bit of a shame because I really like the waffle pattern <laughs> the next one is this weaving weaving pattern and it's sort of the same thing. The seam of the sides, I made a sort of a seam on it, the chain thing, and it sort of holds it together and I can really see why the uh, the big the big uh, 
cloth with the with, I think it's a tartan pattern. I can see why it would be a good idea to to do the chains of the sides because it really holds the shape of the of the cloth and it really prevents sort of it prevents it from being <laughs> stretched. But I was really I really liked this cloth until I made it wet and then I was sort of like yeah. <laughs> It's not a good pattern for for a dishcloth. Now these are the single crochets and I really did this because I thought for a beginner it would be a really good project to just make some dishcloths in single crochet. It's, it would be a lot of sort of getting the routine of crocheting and you would get some sort of usable product. But I don't think single crochets are actually very good for, for dishcloths. You can see if I use this a couple of times, I might not get the holes right from the beginning, but having used this a couple of times, I would have gotten those because I am quite rough on my dishcloths. And yeah, so the, the stars I was actually quite happy with. They don't sort of stretch that much out of shape and the, the dishcloth keep the dishcloth, <laughs> sorry. It keeps looking sort of solid, even though you have sort of stretched it, uh, stretched it a little bit. So I think I could recommend this pattern, actually. Doing a star pattern is a good thing for a dishcloth, but it is a difficult pattern to master, especially if you're just beginning. Now then there is the... the, the Pattern. It's hardened. I'm really sorry if it's not actually a tartan, <laughs> but I have this one from Happy Berry and to be honest the cotton is sort of thick. It doesn't really ring out as well as any of the other cloths. I have my, my the big cloth and I have the microfiber cloth and really they are both easier to work with than the the cotton in this one. And I don't know if that it's the crochet or if it's the the material, but I'm guessing it's the material. So the the chain on this pattern really helps it stay together, but I wouldn't use it really because I think the the double crochet is just too big and there's there's too many holes in this to begin with. It could be a really nice sort of for like drying your hands. <laughs> I would I would have it as a little a, a tiny towel or perhaps make it bigger and then make it into a an actual so actual sort of hand towel. But I I don't think I would use it for this purpose and I'm not sure if she made this pattern for this purpose I should say. I I I actually don't know what the the purpose for it was. So this is the big cloth and it's it's made for cleaning floors. And I'm just sort of testing how easy it would be to wring out water from this one. And even though there's more pattern, or sorry, there's more material in this than in the tartan one, it's actually easier to wring the, yeah, this one. You know, I just wanted to pour out some crumbs on a table and then just test the, the different, different cloths. And they're kind of similar, similar. Um, in this regard, except for the microfiber cloth actually sort of sheds a little bit, which is annoying, but you know. Again, I'm sort of the most excited about the star pattern and I think, yeah, I would just do that. Anything that has the, the big double crochet, it sort of catches the crumb the crumbs <laughs> and that's quite annoying it sort of it can stick in between the holes and it's it, it, it makes it harder to sort of take the cloth and then just shake it over the the sink after use i think i perhaps chose a bad color the white is not a good fit for a dishcloth which you can probably you could probably have guessed, but I still think that the the changes were 
the biggest in in the cloths with the double crochet patterns and the least in this star pattern. Also the single crochet is not it's not looking good afterwards. The bubbles though, the bubbles are looking fine. I think if I had the, the patience, I would probably do an entire dish dishcloth just in bubbles. I think that would be nice. I was quite disappointed with the weaving pattern. It, it becomes really holy and sort of fluffy when it gets wet. So yeah, I wouldn't do this again. <laughs> but I would use the pattern for something else. I think it's a really pretty pattern. And I feel the same way. Yeah, my waffle pattern was still filled with crumbs. I feel the same way with the waffle thing. I really wanted it to work, but it just doesn't. It just... Things will stick in between the front posts and the back posts, and it's just... There's too much going on here. Anything... This is my recommendation. Find something that does not have, like, raised elements. So anything that is 3D is going to look strange when you use it as a dishcloth. And now after it's been a couple of hours since I did this and this cloth, the microfiber, is almost dry but the other ones are still sort of wet and I would have liked that to not be. But again this is the this is the material and when you do this in cotton that's what you can expect. So <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again next Friday.